up, y'all? I have five gold flow talks again. Running over here on the south white, southwest side of Chicago land. Anyways, stop scaring the hose. Part one, JPEG Mafia, Danny Brown collab. Dropped last week. Listened to it a few times. And hot damn. Hot damn, god damn. I'm not sure what I'm most impressed with. But it might be Peggy's production, obviously. This is the trail. I'm looking for this river trail. But goddamn, Peggy's production. Oh. He's a, he is a hip hop force to be reckoned with. And I really think it's perfect combo for him and Danny Brown to be getting together. It's just excellent. And you know, they're sort of following that, that gospel hip hop arc. At least some of the production is. Here we go. And just some of these bass lines. Right now I'm thinking about JPEG as a bass player. My god damn. All these thick ass bass lines he's doing. Really, ho, heaven on earth. Uh, man, I'm so bad with track lists. But uh, also. <laughs> Turn me around, yeah. That one's hot. So hot. Um, and you know, to be honest with you, I've been listening to, uh, you know, JPEG, you know, since Veteran. Probably heard out about him. Saw a review on Fantano and, you know, back four or five years ago, six years ago, from Veteran to All My Heroes Are Cornballs. Uh, man, offline, online. Uh, I think I'm missing one. But all of it's been so fucking good. And as someone who's missing the presence of Death Grips, producing straight up material, the JPEG has really filled that space as a white boy hip hop fan, experimental hip hop fan. Damn, Peggy. And you know what? I'll listen to some old, old death grips. Money store. Ex-military. And it bangs. Nearly every single song bangs. Tap. Beyond. Tap. Beyond. Tap. You know. But. Damn, Peggy. And you know. I've been into Death Cribs fans, JPEG Mafia fans, white boy hip hop fans. We all know we've been, and Danny Brown too, obviously. I first heard Danny Brown on a feature in Silicon Valley. I was like, damn, who is that? And you know, listening to Atrocity Exhibition, so, that's my, that's the hit, that's the jam. But I've always felt like Danny, Danny Brown, he needs the, he needs the wilder production. He needs someone producing these beats that, who experiments and throws that shit out of whack. That scares the hoes, whatever, but to see him and JPEG together, that's the combo. That's the combo that was needed. And obviously, JPEG's a great MC and singer as well, fuck. And it's not like he's lacking on bars. 